What? What? Watch what happens when I when I go into the water. No! No! Don't do it! Oh. And welcome outside. <clears throat> today's topic is gonna be the evolution of whales. First, before we start talking about today's topic, I'd like to acknowledge some of the modern day blue whales feats, since that's the species we're gonna be mainly focusing on. And I think a few others, I'm not really sure. While being the biggest animal that's ever existed, they are quite docile, feeding on shrimp and krill, and being able to grow up to a confirmed length of up to 110 feet. There haven't been much other whales that have grown over that size. Okay. Alright, so whales are super cool, right? They're awesome. They're uh, marine mammals, which is pretty amazing. But did you guys know that they haven't always been swimming in the ocean? That's right. They evolved from a tiny wolf-sized terrestrial mammal called Pachycetus. Pachycetus was a ungulate, meaning it had ho hooves, like, mo like a modern-day horse or zebra, a camel or a giraffe. And other animals like that, like a cow or a bull. Whales are massive and they dive, dive deep into the ocean's depth. And I mean deep, up to 500 meters under the surface or 1,640 1, feet. And they do quite last a while under the water, being able to hold their breath for 20 minutes. Yup, they hold their breath. Although being mostly adapted for water, they are still mammals and need to take breaths every once in a while. But there is still a whale that can dive deeper than the blue whale. But I'm not going to go get too into detail since that isn't really related to today's topic. And so how do we know that all that whales evolved from this, this, this creature called Pachycetus? Well, I have an answer for you, my friend. You see, whales... Whales do still have a pelvic bone, showing that they did once have legs. Nowadays, it's if they are born with a small deformity around their the pelvic area, around the back of the tail fin, they'll have like small little nubs representing the the past uh, legs that they used to have. Anyway, this bone isn't really necessary for the whale since it has absolutely almost no purpose anymore. Pachycetus lived about 53 million years ago and are about 3 to 6 feet long. Their fossils have been found in deposits that would have been freshwater streams. Since this is where, back then, is where they would hunt and breed uh, different in their different areas. As their bodies slowly adapted into their new environment, after a while, Pachycetus uh, evolved into Ambulocetus, which stepped into the spotlight. Kind of looking like a mix between a crocodile and a dog. I'm not sure what to say about it. But one thing's for sure is that they already have had a heavily adaptations for their environment. Living near small streams, sometimes diving even deeper with webbed feet and a stronger tail fin. Which uh, might have even been flattened to help, help it propel itself. Alright, next up we got the Myocetus. Myocetus translates into mother whale because surprisingly one of its fossils had a small little fetus inside of its womb. <clears throat> and there was a possibility that it could have been like a little snack that Myocetus fossil had eaten, but there was no damage to skull, implying that the fetus was, you know, a fetus. It was developed inside of the mother's womb. Uh, otherwise, it would have been demolished by its teeth. It had pretty sharp uh, teeth at this point. It hadn't really stripped away uh, far from the Pachycetus, the original evolution. And it was he was a pretty cool looking one. But what's even cooler was the Dorodon. I think that's how you pronounce it. That, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Dorodon. Finally, we had something that looked like a whale. You understand me? At this point, its hind leg and its hind legs were pretty much useless, becoming small knobs on the rear end. Like I mentioned before, it could have been a birth defect or a small deformity, and that's what could have happened. <clears throat> Ouch! <laughs> I just cracked my my finger. All right, and <clears throat> instead, 
instead of having the back legs, they had strong flippers, really strong flippers, and a massive, super muscular tail to help them propel themselves at great speeds across the ocean. At this point, they still had their teeth. Scientists, okay, hold on, before I get into that part, let's, um, let's talk about this. And now at the grand finale, we got the balena. Balena? I think I think I'll, I, sh I think it's pronounced Bellina, or pretty much modern day whales like the humpback, the blue whale, and a bunch more. With instead of being toothed like their ancestor, like the Dorodon, the Myocetus, the Ambulocetus, and the Pachycetus, they had um, they had some they had a special type of teeth called baleen. Hmm, uh, that word sounds kind of weird, but it's baleen. Which are big pieces of keratinized teeth, I guess you could, I guess you could call them, um, that were mushed together with one of its sides being kind of hairy. So whenever it would take big gulps of water, it would swallow plankton and krill. And its massive tongue would force out the water through the hairy part, catching all, all of its food, you know, krill, plankton, zooplankton, all of that and yeah that's pretty much everything that happened i guess there was it was a massive change big step for um whales and other marine mammals alike like the dolphin actually i think i should make a video on the dolphin's evolution or maybe it is the same i should really dig more into that And all right, that's where we're going to end it for today. We're going to see you I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want me to clarify anything again, please uh, feel free to comment something asking me to uh, go more into depth about this. If any if there was anything I missed, please please don't be afraid to let me know. I'll try to clarify, I'll do more research on it. And I'll see you guys in that's where I'm going to end it today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.